and then down there on the wall. All right, so tell me where we are, Mike. Well, we're in the uh, Fireman Ford Launch Control Center. It's where we launch all the shuttles out of. Right in this room? In this room. This is the place. This is my console here, the launch director's console. Launch director, there's Ray J holding up your sign there. <laughs> launch right here, this is where you sit. I worked with all you guys. When I talk right. to you guys, it's from this console here. Out to you the talk on the today. phone? Oh, you got, you got a little headset. Don't you got your headset on? Okay. A little headset. Okay. Yeah. All right. And, um, got the test test director and test conductors down here. All right. And then all the, all the system engineers out on the floor of the firing room, all the main propulsion guys and fuel cell guys, all the system engineers are out on the floor. Okay. And they all report see. up through a test conductor, through a test director, and, and yeah. ultimately to me. All right. Okay. And, and then this bubble over here, the room on the left, that's yeah. a mission management team bubble. Uh, yeah. Mike Moses now, nowadays, and, and his team. Mm -hmm. And then the bubble over here is a VIP area for our administrator and center directors, and Brian O'Connor, head of safety. And, uh, VIP is essentially sitting there on the show. Okay. And the launch pad is out there. Let's see if I can get it. I'm having trouble focusing it's on that it's thing. Almost has to be All right, there it is. Okay. All right, I've got two questions for you, Mike. <laughs> One is, is that I noticed when you're sitting there, your chair is this way, and all your displays are over here, facing this way with a room, and all, but the spaceship is out there, <laughs> the opposite direction. What's the story? <laughs> well, shouldn't you be looking out there? As a, or do you do you flip around? Do you like make the call and then? Look out there when, when you, you don't guys, want the guys to be distracted. What's the story? When you guys lift off, I watch you go. Right? Yeah. I, I, I watch the, the launch. So but you no, do I'm turn around. Over here. I'm concentrating over I'm watching my displays. But you don't want anyone else to look. Is that what the story? You want them to kind? No. Is there a reason for that? Because you want them looking at their displays. You don't want them looking at the big fireworks going on over here. Or? Right. Right. Okay. You know, I'm concentrating on the on the on the displays. Okay. And then uh, no, the last the last five minutes last. Nine minutes of counter, so I'm watching my displays, watching the various, okay. you know, parameters on board the shuttle come right. by, and APU okay. startup, and you know, all that stuff, and pressurization of the tanks. Okay. But then at liftoff, now I'm very much watching the watching the right. shuttle go. And the whole room is as well, or are they do they turn it once it clears the tower or something? Do they turn um, around and look? It's very quiet in here. We don't celebrate until you right. guys reach orbit. Right. Um, they're watching their displays, especially the watching. first four and a half minutes, you know, in case we okay. get an RTLS. I see. But after okay. RTLS, then essentially our job is done, completely done, and we're just watching, watching the ASM, uh, right. we're watching the, the downlink, okay. getting all the data. All right, we're yeah. watching the guys from Houston take care of the ship. And all right, but you're ready for the for the return to launch site because it may be coming back it here. It may be coming back. Because once it clears the tower, Houston controls, but you still got to be ready for it to come back yeah. here. If they're you controlling in Houston, no no question about yeah. that. But if we do get an RTLS, well then. You know, our guys are over the SLF kick into action. Ready to go, and you guys are yeah. handling it. We're, we're still support to JFC at that, at that point. Right. Okay. So it's still one of the flight regimes. Okay. Interesting. And my, and my last question for you, Mike. <laughs> Where's the big red button at you? Since you're the launch director, you get to hit the button, right? Is there, there is no big red There's button, no is big there? Red button. There's you have no a small button. red button. I saw this one here, and I thought, well, maybe this is it. No, that's not it. But, Mass, so, come on, man. That ain't it. <laughs> it's all, but you know, for the people watching, it's all computer control. It's all computer control, but uh, every, one, every one of the engineers in the room and, and right. the test conductors and the test director and myself, we can, we can stop the launch all the way down to T0 if we had to right. for the manual call. We right. always have that capability for the human intervention if we need it. Yeah. Um, hasn't happened. Hope it doesn't happen. But, yeah. but the theory is, you know, yeah, the, the ground launch sequencer here is mimicking the, the redundant set on board the orbit. As long as they two stay in sync or haven't violated any LCCs, you guys are gone. Yeah. And this is a pretty cool job. You love it. I know we've talked about this before. How much you love what you do. Yeah. Did, you, did you did you think you'd be doing this when you were a little kid? Did you no. play like with, no? You know, did you, yeah, got a trolley over there. Did you play like play with a, a little the model rockets the when you were rockets. kids or anything? Did you? Was there no, anything? Did no, no. I was a Virginia boy, you know, and just got really, really lucky in my career. And always been interested in space and space travel. Yeah. And uh, no, I just got really, really lucky. Yeah. It's as simple as that. Well, we've talked about this before too, and, and how as astronauts we're very grateful that we have you folks here looking out for us and making sure that it is the right decision to to right. go. And uh, I know it's a very serious. We have fun, but we take a it very serious oh, job. Sorry. I mean, it's a fun job, but but it's a lot of responsibility. No, you guys aren't going to fly unless we're 100 percent convinced that you're right. ready to go. The only thing you might need for visibility is to clean up some of the bird poop that you have <laughs> on the window here. That's a that's one of our preps for launch. Is that what, that's what it's for, you got to get a guy to clean. You probably want to wait until right before launch. Launch mine is one week. Because these before. birds, you know, they they yeah they'll yeah. All right. Well, thanks for letting us in here, Mike. Just quite a treat to get a chance to come in. Thanks, thanks for having us. Sure.